The average performer will never get the chance to star in a Broadway show. These are the stories of a college music theater program, its teachers, and their students who are anything but average and whose chances just got a whole lot better. I grew up as a child, and um, I'm kind of giving back to the community and bringing my friends along for the ride, and we are um, raising money um, in a performance for this theater. We're going to come on stage right, and then for the second act, we'll come on stage left. How about that? So you're deciding now? Yeah. Sure. Sounds good. Yeah, okay, that's cool. good. I just wanted to thank everyone for coming out here. I see some of the familiar faces, and some new ones, which is great. Um, but enjoy this. Uh, we've been working for about a month and a half. Um, there's some talent up here that will blow your socks off. Um, and I really hope you enjoy it. I've been to the past. I've been to the past. They were kidding when they called me well up. <laughs> but you'll find that nowadays I mended all my ways, repented, seen the light, and made a switch. True, yes. But I, I think it's a really good way of getting back to the community since the community does so much for us. Mm -hmm. And I also That's think cool. it's good for for us as performers to kind of um, practice our songs and kind of rep and, and kind of like test them out for an audience. And you get to sing songs that you're like never allowed to. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's the biggest but, thing for me. Ryan Corey, I've got a voice. The boss is on a roll. For you poor, This production we're working on here is called Blue Door, written by a playwright named Tanya Barfield. This is a professional performance opportunity for one of our students, Rod Ingram, who plays the role of roles of Simon Rex, Jesse, and countless other roles um, in this piece. It's a two-character piece about um, the dark night of the soul of a black man whose white wife divorces him because he will not go on the Million Man March, and our very own Jeff Short is playing the role of Lewis, the character. What we try to do with the program is give opportunities for our students as often as we can. I look for work to do in the city with my students in mind. It's an adjunct to the training. It's, it's an opportunity to give them a taste of what they're going to face. And honestly, they're really good, so it's, it, it, um, it gives them a, 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 like a kind of community profile before they leave here and go to New York. Blue Door is one of the greatest opportunities I've ever had. It's, um, it's an opportunity for me to step away from like the leading male kind of like uh, the girl, like blah blah blah, you know, whatever those roles, and to get into like really deep, intense acting. I play six to I don't know how many different characters in the show, and it's uh, it's a great opportunity working with Jeff. Uh, Jeff's great, and uh, Scott is just absolutely phenomenal. So it's it's been a really intense experience for me. <laughs> totally different than anything. I've ever done. And um, community theater was like my life. My 
mom grew up in the same community theater that I performed in, and it's called the Erie Playhouse, and it's just, I was performing there since I was like 10, and it's just a very special place to me. So I relate, and that's why I feel like doing this is really important, because my theater at home is hurting as well because of the economy and everything. students to understand that there's life outside this program, to, to flex their muscles in a professional context, to deal with other professionals other than us. I first want to thank uh, Corey and the, the students at BW and um, everyone who's participating with uh, the benefit tonight. Uh, really, uh, they give us their time, uh, their talents, and uh, really to, to benefit the theater and, and raise money for the theater. So thank you to them. It's important for them to understand what professional work really is because school has its own kind of identity. But leaving school and the actual reality of having to get across the city in the winter to rehearsal, of making a professional commitment and a job and school, you know, so it's, it's, um, it's very important, very important to, we, we teach the kids, I would say, to figure out how to figure it out. So when they get to New York, they have got survival skills that help them hit the ground running in what's probably the most difficult theater market um, anywhere in the world, or one of the most, certainly. It's important for them to have this experience here and to feel like they're uh, a school that is in a community as opposed to just the school that has no connection to where it sits. So <laughs>